Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make roasted chickpeas. These are a great high fiber, high protein snack. Start by rinsing one can of chickpeas under cool water. You can do this recipe using dried chickpeas, but you'll have to cook them first. Using canned chickpeas saves a lot of time. Once you've rinsed off the chickpeas, you're going to want to transfer them to a large mixing bowl and dry them off really well using a paper towel or a clean dishcloth. Drying the chickpeas off will help all of the seasonings stick to them. Now you're going to season the chickpeas. In this video, I'm using 3 tablespoons of olive oil. I'm using a half tablespoon to measure out the oil, so that's why you'll see me adding six spoonfuls because I misplaced my one tablespoon measure. I've tried making this recipe using one tablespoon of olive oil and two tablespoons of olive oil, but three tablespoons really makes the chickpeas taste the best. If you're watching your fat intake, you could definitely get away with using one tablespoon of olive oil, but I wouldn't use less than that. Once you've added the olive oil, you can go ahead and add any other spices that you like. In this video, I'm using one teaspoon of garlic and one teaspoon of hot paprika, as well as some Himalayan pink salt. Next, you're gonna mix everything around to make sure that the chickpeas are well coated with the oil and the spices. Then you can transfer the chickpeas to a foil lined baking tray and spread them out so that they're evenly distributed. The chickpeas will have to bake in the oven at 375 degrees for around one hour. Everyone's oven is slightly different, so until you know exactly how long it takes to get these chickpeas cooked perfectly, I would suggest that you set your timer for slightly before an hour, maybe 50 to 55 minutes, and check on them. They should be crunchy when they're ready. You'll see here that when I take the chickpeas out of the oven, I do a quick taste test before turning off the oven. I'll usually let the chickpeas sit for a little while to cool before I transfer them to a glass jar. And one last thing I forgot to film in this video is me adding additional salt to the chickpeas once they come out of the oven. The extra salt gives them that addictive quality that chips have, so I would definitely recommend giving them a quick taste and adding more salt if you think they could use it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as we do. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching!